Well, here we are. We're at the Moride booth. We're here with Scott Thompson with Moride, and he's going to show us around a little bit of his stuff that he's been showing here at this booth. It's pretty fantastic, you guys. And as you well know, I put in their suspension, their X braces, and I'm I'm pro Moride. So here you go. And you know, Moride, I'm a distributor from Moride on the West Coast, and you know. I love being working with Moride because their company motto, above, beyond, always, they truly believe that. And they really go out of their way to make you feel that way. So I want to show you a few things which we have here today. We're going to start briefly with some stabilizers up front. If we come out here, if we come out here, this is sort of our, one of our flagship things. This helps you create a more stable relationship with your RV. So if I, if I loosen those up, now I'm going to come back here, you can watch that down there. Watch how much movement there is. Trailer rocks and rolls. Now, we liked Elvis, but he's dead, so we're trying now trying to get rid of rock and roll. So, now I've tightened them up. I'm gonna come back here, now I'm gonna push. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. So that's amazing. One of the new things we have here at More Ride this time is we have our sliding trays. We have a whole variety of sliding trays. Here's one that's 200% pull out, which is absolutely amazing. Put two generators, two generators, slide it in and away you go. So that works great. We have other sliding trays that go from 20 inch to 52 inch, from 36 to 90 inch. Full, full, full pull throughs, they just work great. This is the one I like. This is my hidden tray. This is sort of like my outdoor coffee table. You know when you walk in the, in the house, there's always somewhere to throw your stuff? This is the guy's outdoor coffee table. It hides up there, it just sits up there. It hides nice, you pull it down, and that's where I put my, my torque wrench, my hammer, my lighter, all the cool stuff that you put in your, that, that you wonder where it goes. So Scott, is this all bolt you can go, or does more I'd have to put it in? Most of it's all bolt in, it's just simple stuff, you screw it to the floor, I like um, it. we have a variety, we have every size you really need as far as trays are so concerned. So people like me who like to do it themselves, no problem. Yep. Yeah, that's outstanding. That's it, it works really, really well. Um, we also have, this is something that's a huge success here at the show. We have our safety rails. Our new safety rail, it eliminates that old handle, that, that fold over handle that comes here. And you get to here, you have something in your hand, and so now you're going down the stairs sideways trying to avoid falling. Not anymore, now we have our safety rail. It gives you the full transition all the way down. Then what we couple it with our, our latch extender. Whether you realize it or not, every time you go into the RV, it's a three-step process. You're doing the RV dance. You're coming up to unlatch, down to open, then up to go inside. Not anymore. Now we just walk up to our rig with the latch extender. We open it and we walk right inside. So will this latch extender go, go on an RV lock? Absolutely, it goes on an RV lock. It's really simple to install. You just, it's, it's a set pin here, then you just align this straight. You drill a couple holes through to a latch plate inside, which reinforces it, because there's not much to your door. Right, right it's in here. It's filled with foam, right. And it's that simple. And has this ever broken away? No. Okay. And I, trust me, I've been, I go in and out this door, hundreds of times a day here at the show and it's never loosened up never getting me any troubles at all all right scott a lot of us have a 2500 um imagine grand design imagine okay. so i put those x braces can you show those x braces do you have those yeah, yeah or is that the same theory as what we had before it is so so we have we our, our stabilizer system is here okay, this is what i put on this is what you put on this is this works absolutely great you know it's just put it on it literally stops all that motion um our travel trailer customers are usually our happiest customers because they had the most to gain. You know, travel trailer customers, as soon as you step on the door, the step to go inside, it starts moving. Right. So when we put this on, so this is for our travel trailer customers. This is for our fifth wheel customers, which I already showed you. And then in the rear, now this one works great for Class C motorhomes, Class A motorhomes, travel trailers, anything. If you have a rear hitch, you put that on, and it eliminates that movement and so that is two inch hitch just a two right. inch hitch ball yep just slides right in and when you travel it folds up and travels behind you right like this you don't have to haul it step in the compartment or anything right. so that just works um then at more ride we also have of course you've seen our more ride steps 
if you put a more right step aftermarket, then you have an open space underneath. Now you got a box you can put underneath there to, for, your, for your wheel chocks or things like that. We have a variety of TV mounts. These TV mounts are designed for the RV industry. They lock in place when you travel, so they're not your TV's not moving around. We have everything, all different types. We only have a few listed shown here, but they just work. Like over on our sliding tray when I showed you, that's a great one because it's a little one. I was wondering, where do I put my TV? Well, I just ha I have a, that little mount right on the sliding tray, so I pull the sliding tray out, sit my TV there, and I'm good to go. So there's a, a there's a more ride tray for almost anything that's awesome so you guys know when i did the suspension uh video we did the cr 3000 and what a change that made in just towing well as you guys well know i've always said the wet bolts was a big deal that was real important but this is the mother of mothers so this is the independent suspension of moride so explain a little bit about the independent suspension because to me that's just a new kicker right there well, the, the, the key with the Moride suspension is it's four-wheel independent suspension. So now you're going down the road, you hit that pothole on this side. It doesn't transfer the force all the way across the trailer up into the walls. It sucks it up. Next wheel sucks it up. So it's totally independent. So there's no axles, no springs, no shackles. All those things you hear people screaming and complaining about breaking are gone. And the other biggest thing is the roads are really rough here in the U.S. And so as you're going on the road, a lot of the suspensions out there are two inches of suspension travel. And when you hit those and you bottom out on your springs, that's the equivalent of taking your springs under a full load and repeatedly pounding them with the hammer. As you do that, eventually they're going to flatten, they're going to break, you're going to get sidewall delaminations, you're going to get all kinds of stuff from that damaging road right. shock. So at More Ride, our, our job is to reduce that, to give you more suspension travel so you don't bottom out. So what we do with the IS, this is the ultimate suspension. This gives you five and a half inches of suspension travel from two to five and a half, and it's rubber and shear. Now what's rubber and shear and why does that matter? Rubber and shear, keep in mind your springs are really stiff. They have to be able to support, they have a spring rate, and they have to be able to support a 7,000 pound axle or 8,000 pound axle or whatever. And so they're really stiff. So when you get to that little stuff on the roads, it just bounces over it because it can't really compress. Well, rubber and shear has a lower spring rate. And so even though it can carry the weight, it can take up those nuances. Mm -hmm. So that's why when you have the IS and you forget to put away all the stuff on your counter, you get to your next location and everything's still sitting there because it just it just sucked it up. So this is amazing. It's not, you know, a little bit more expensive. You're gonna pay about between six to eight thousand dollars depending on whether you want to add disc brakes to have a two axle rig upgraded. Um, it's a great experience. If you ever want to go out to Moor Ride, they treat you like royalty. <laughs> you get to go to Notre Dame, visit the cathedral, go to the <laughs> RV Hall of Fame, do all kinds of fun stuff so while you're there. Disc brakes is disc brakes. I mean it's all it's like it's oh. all it's it's a game changer. It's a game changer from the drum brake. Oh yeah, and you actually, when you, it's sort of like when you hit a disc brake, when you hit a disc brake, it's like squeezing an orange. Just, it just right. really progressive where um, drum brakes have a tendency to be grabby because they're, they're magnetic and, they, and, and the electric apply, they apply electricity and then magnet, magnetizing grabs and pulls. Right. Where the disc brake, it's hydraulic, just like your car. And it just goes. So I find myself going down a steep grade. Ooh, I'm going a little fast. I want to slow down. Rather than hitting my brakes and having the tra trailer push me, I'll just manually apply a little bit of trailer brakes in conjunction with my front brakes and slow down nice and straight. No wobbles, nothing. So it's just really a great, the disc brakes are a great add-on. And then below that, you've already mentioned our CRE 3000. This gives you three inches of suspension travel over our sta your standard run-of-the-mill suspension is out here. That gives you two with these shackle plates that are and look bolts that are dry and they just they wear out. And when they and the problem with them is as you're going down, that's the number one suspension failure right there. These hog out, and then all of a sudden you're on the side of the road wishing you had done something different. So tell us about because they've seen what we've done to the CR3000. Uh huh. Tell us about the Alltrek 4000. So the difference that's between a new the, up and coming. yeah, that's a new up and coming. It's made basically for our heavier coaches. We wouldn't want you to put this on your really light bumper pull because right. it might be a little bit. It, it might be a little bit much. But if for your standard decent decent weighted fifth wheel 
we're talking the Alltrek 4000 is four inches of suspension travel. Now this has replaced our previous version called the SRE 4000, which had some physical conflicts. We weren't able to use it on an 8,000 pound axle. And so this gave us a different way. So this was basically, it's more uniform, allowed us to use it on more things, and it's actually quite a bit cheaper. So this gives you four inches of travel, and then see all this rubber? Once again, rubber in compression or rubber in shear softer spring rate it allows it to suck up all that stuff where you don't get any of that here you're just bouncing down the road over over what's what's existing so then you've already talked to him about our um wet bolts. about our wet bolts you know how those are these have been durability tested without grease to a hundred thousand miles and they don't fail can you imagine what they're gonna do when you do grease them every couple thousand miles they're gonna go on forever now our last component that's really important and people don't pay attention to it is you have an I-beam frame, and your I-beam frame is really strong this way, but it has no strength this way. So you're going down the road doing this. Okay, how do you think that's wearing on all these components when they're designed to go like this? Okay, so what happens with the, we have something called the X-Factor, we go from one shackle all the way across the other shackle, we recommend two, at least one on the rear and one in the center. Once you have that, you've created a box truss. Now you've stiffened your, your sidewalls of your trailer, and now your suspension only does this. So if you have the Alltrek 4000 with a couple X-Factors and our wet bolts, you have the ultimate more ride suspension up to, but not including, the IS. And so it just flat out works. Cool, man. Scott, we appreciate your time, man. Hey, I really I appreciate spending the time with us. We're, as you can tell, we're sort of excited about this stuff. Oh well, yeah, of you know, I've done it. Been you know, and... I love going out, hanging out with all my Grand Design friends, and providing <laughs> this product to them. And you know, that, in fact, that's that's where I met Over the Hill Adventures. I love it. In fact, I'm really sort of ashamed. I have a different hat. I should have my Over Hill Adventures hat. That's on right, because right I do wear it. I, yeah, use... I, I got it right in there. <laughs> he said he doesn't wear those every day because he doesn't want to wear it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good excuse there, Scott. <laughs> Thank you.